See, this garden, it's just so great for the mental health because we're in a small village in Northamptonshire, Wollaston, and you see all that and you can be anywhere in the world. And the world is a beautiful book, but it's knowing how to read that book. Yo, I'm Lodge and welcome to my tropical paradise. I've got a dog that suffers seizures, so we can't get away on holiday. Um, basically, we can't leave anybody because we know how to handle him if he has a seizure. And if anything happened to him who wasn't around, I'd never forgive myself. So basically, we, we don't have holidays, etc. plus we have a business to attend to. So what I thought I'd do is bring the holiday to the garden. After each day, there's always a, something new in the garden. So the dog comes out dice, he comes out and uh, yeah, so it's like an adventure every day for my, for my dog because we can't take him for long walks because he's got heart murmur, etc. So every time he comes out here, he's got a different experience to, to sniff, to look at, to go around and explore. I do like to be different from everybody else and I do love the exotic, the tropical theme. Plus when I did go on holiday to Mexico, etc. I just love tropical plants, I love palm trees. And I remember a, a tropical jungle ride from when I was about four or five in Skegness. Used to rock around in little snails and stuff. And I loved that ride and it all come together in my head and I thought, bam, I'm doing an exotic tropical garden and uh, throw some few quirky bits in there, a bit of cool landscaping and bam. First, we had to dig all this section out here. It was like a, it was like a load of wasteland down here, an old bit of a stone pond, etc. And it wasn't a lot down at all, it was just like store bits of timber and stuff down here. Because we knew we were doing an extension at some point, I wanted to gain garden down here, what we was going to lose up there. So started digging it out. We started with a base for the shed, second base, put all sleepers down there ready for the bridge. And it just started coming to me, bridge, tropical plants either side, grass area, water feature for a bit of ambience. And then the, the tiki bar started to grow. And then when I've done this, I thought the next section I've got to go to another level and I thought every garden if it's safe to do so if you haven't got kids animals etc or you, the animals are safe around it go for a pond if you said to me 10 years ago Lodge you're gonna get into garden I'll have gone no way mate that, that ain't my thing but honestly it's it helps so much with with all the badness that's going on in the world these days I think it's very important you have to create your own bubble so you can shut that gate Go to your little paradise, whatever, it doesn't matter if it, whatever garden you're into, whatever you want to do, as long as it's your own little bit of peace haven, it's good for the mind. Be new to the koi pond world as well, so it's my first koi pond, so, but the whole thing, it's getting the bacteria maturing, and I always do my pond tests every day, so you're testing your pond water every day. Like I say, you're not actually keeping fish, you're keeping water. Everything sort of leads to something and yeah, and this is what you can create when you've got a few skills behind you and not about somebody to leave school with any qualifications and being dyslexic. So it just shows you can do anything you want when you put your mind to it and a bit of hard work. What's next? Once the extension's fully built, so building the extension, got balcony, etc. on. As soon as I've built, I want to build a special little tropical lagoon here. So the fish have got their pond, I want my own pond, so I'm going to build a little lagoon there. So it's going to be heated, water jets, another little waterfall. So nice little relaxing spa area there for me. So not only fish can relax, I can relax as well. 